Hi guys, Steph here with your premiere update. Been a while, but I am here today with two of our recruiters, Amanda and Liz. They are here to talk more about our um, community volunteer events that we're participating in this year. So Amanda, if you want to go ahead and get started and tell us about the wonderful Aurora event. Yeah, absolutely. So Premier is partnering with Aurora Healthcare, one of the largest hospital systems in the southeastern Wisconsin area for the second year in a row. Um, we do a two-part volunteer effort with them. So the first part, and this is where you guys can participate, is where we do a fundraising opportunity. So if you wouldn't mind grabbing that board I handed to you. Sure. Here we have our turkey board, and the goal is to try to completely fill all of the turkey's feathers. So you see that we just have one feather currently. Uh, the volunteer uh, donations just started, so we are just starting with this guy. But if you guys make a donation, whether you are local or whether you are not local to Wisconsin, we will make sure that a feather is placed on the turkey board on your behalf. So if you're local, we would love for you to stop in. You can come into the office, make your donation, place your own feather, and maybe even snag a picture. If you are not local, just let your recruiter or whoever you work with your premier know, and we will make sure it gets up on your behalf. Um, donations can be big or small, so you can donate as little as $1 and as up to as, really as much as you would like. $35 does feed an entire family. So as a basis point, if you are interested in feeding an entire family, that donation would be $35. Um, the other second part that we do for the volunteer option is uh, we in the premier office, corporate office here, we go and we are on site with Aurora. We are bagging up all the Thanksgiving goodies. We're unloading them, we're reloading them under the truck, we're helping pass them out. So it's just such a cool opportunity to kind of give back to the community and help those in need. Um, about that, do external staff as well, are they able to help with that? We have typically only really had internal staff, but if we have local staff that are interested in helping, I don't yeah. see why not. Hmm, that'd be awesome. Yeah. And then I just wanted to highlight, these have paw prints on them for donating. I don't know. Was it a, a dog? A puppy. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Very pet friendly around here. Yes. All right. Sorry. Off track. <laughs> All right. Thanks for sharing, Amanda. Yes, yeah, we're very absolutely. excited. Very excited with that. I know you have an exciting event also to share, and this is our first yes. year with this one. For the first time ever, we are partnering with Village of Manor Park, and it is for their Kids to Kids toy drive. So we are collecting new toys starting today through December 5th, and then we will be dropping off the toys on December 6th, which at the Village of Manor Park, we will be they will be throwing a winter wonderland for um, the entire community for those that are donating. Um, we are also volunteering there as well. So if, if you're interested in volunteering versus um, purchasing a new toy, you are welcome to do so. Um, but it is a great event that bridges um, the old and the young and the holiday spirit of giving. Yes, that's awesome. That's awesome. And then um, I believe you said the volunteer event is on the 6th. Yes. Okay, so that's on the 6th and then they can donate between now and the 5th. Now in the 5th, cool. and then if they're interested, they can join us on the 6th at the event as well. Nice. Awesome. All right, well, thanks for sharing. That's exciting. The holidays are here. Aren't you excited? All right, so if you guys want to learn more on how you can um, be involved, um, view the links below and uh, let us know. All right? Thanks, guys. We're out.